The Romero fire is no longer spewing fierce flames and huge clouds of smoke, but firefighters are still dealing with hot spots, making sure that they don't flare and ignite a serious fire again. The fire erupted at mid afternoon yesterday from a still unknown cause. Pushed by gusty winds, the flames quickly jumped from the west side of the river to the east side, prompting Sandia Pueblo to evacuate about 80 people from their homes. In the end, though, no structures were burned although 359 acres were scorched. Officially, the fire is only 50% contained, but again, as you could see, there are no more visible flames. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live at the Sandia Pueblo with the latest on the mop-up and the continuing concern about danger on the Bosque. Dick and Diane, that concern still does exist. The fire quickly charged several hundred acres. Things are looking good now, but there is still more work on the ground behind me. The story of this fire has changed dramatically from 24 hours ago. These were the frightening flames that stretched over the Bosque yesterday, soon after the fire started around 3 west of the river in Corrales. They're getting a really good handle on it on the west side. But today you had to look hard to find any flames, only some hugging a few smoldering logs on the ground. Dozers worked to draw containment lines around the fire while crews watered hot spots. A view from Sky Ranger shows pockets of gray where the fire bounced around. It looks like the surface of the moon intermingled with the green trees. The big thing we're watching out for is uh, flare-ups of maybe some unburned pockets, especially along the river edge there, uh, that could potentially throw spots across the river. And at the same time, the village of Corrales is having talks about closing the bosque down completely to try to avoid another blaze like this. They will have to get the blessing from the middle Rio Grande Conservancy District, which controls the bosque, before they do. A closure could happen next week. Now, I did put in a call to AFD to see if this fire has upped their plans or excited their plans to close the Bosque closer, closer to Albuquerque. They tell me that there are no plans to close the Bosque right now, but they will up their fire restrictions starting tomorrow. Back to you. Now, around this time last year, the Bosque was closed from Socorro to Sandoval County, a more than 150 mile stretch of land. The fifth